just a quick little vlog today. I just wanted to go over something that I keep seeing is that a lot of, I'm sure you've all been sucked into the world of where you go online, you find a, a personality and that personality tries to tell you like, oh, I know the best way to market or I know the best way to do this or get a thousand subscribers or whatever their shtick is. And the thing is that they're usually not wrong. Those methods work. Um, but the problem is they don't really seem to take into account is that, you know, a lot of them want you to go out and sign up for um, usually through an affiliate link or something like that. They want you to go sign up for like MailChimp or they want you to sign up for lead pages or something like that just to try to, to get you going, to get you started, to get you to where you can generate leads by, by building your, your email base. The problem is that that stuff takes time. You know, it's like you don't build a list overnight. You know, it takes a year or more. Like it takes it takes a lot of time for that stuff to happen. The problem is, is when you start a business, you have no money. So it kind of becomes really frustrating. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a way that you can actually have a build up your own email list and build up your own um like, you know, set up your freebies so that you can set up, like you write your blog post and you have your freebie because that method does work for getting email addresses. You know, I won't lie to you, you're going to get a lot of burner email addresses where people just put in something just to get the freebie, but they don't actually check that email address. So it's not perfect, but I mean, you're going to get that if you just pay to have, you know, these things inserted on your site anyway. So this way is actually free and this is more centered towards WordPress, but you can kind of rig something like this too if you have like a regular site. Um, not a CMS site, you just whatever you want it, like whatever you're working with, you can use this method to kind of get you around it. So there's two ways to do it. One is if you're using WordPress, you can use contact seven and I'll walk you through how to do the responder for that. But alternatively, and this is probably gonna have to be a different video because this is a little more involved, is actually going into what's called your cPanel. So your hosting comes with something called cPanel or something like cPanel. It's short for control panel. And what you do is you go into your autoresponders for your control panel. So you would set up like a, like an email address, um, like XYZ freebie at mydomain.com. And then you would go into the autoresponder for that email address that you made up and you would attach or put a link in there to like something in your Dropbox or um, like if you have a file in your Dropbox, you put that link in the autoresponder because you can't usually attach files to these autoresponders, but you can put in links to go get them. So when somebody signs up on your site using a form that you put on there, when that email hits your, your server for that weird email address, it'll automatically send back this autoresponder with the link. So you see how you circumvented the whole like sending something back to the person who requested it? So that's kind of how this is going to work. So the email address that goes to your server is going to be the person who inputted the email address. And then that person would get back the link um, to your Dropbox or wherever this file lives. And that's how you can kind of circumvent and do the autoresponder thing through cPanel. I guess I'll probably do a video that's involved with that because that is kind of an involved thing. But contact seven, um, it's it's a for it's a it's a plugin for WordPress that I absolutely love. It's one, it's not so dumbed down that you can't do anything with it, but it's also not crazy complicated. I mean, I think in the future they could put a more of a like a, a user interface in there that's a little bit more friendly. Because <laughs> if you don't know what to click on, you don't know where things go, it is kinda like all you see is a bunch of tags and it's kinda crazy. But for work contact seven, what I would do is I would just go in there. I would set up the form, I place that form on the page, and then I would go into the, um, it's called mail to, it's not called autoresponder. It's called mail to <laughs> it's a tab in your in your building. When you're building the form, it's a tab in there. You go to that tab and on that tab, you can actually say, you know, send back this email that I'm writing in here right now. And again, you would put in your link to your Google Drive or your, your Dropbox or wherever you have this file living. And then the people who put in their email address will automatically get sent back an email with this link to your, your thing. And you can put in images or whatever you need to do if you need to get fancy. The images are hosted things, so you have to know to code, <laughs> like, you know, open bracket IMG S and then space SRC equals and then wherever the image lives, you know, quotes and all that stuff like it's a it's a thing and um what I can do is I can actually put a link in the description below that will like 
send you to like a sample one and then you just have to fill in the blanks it's so like maybe you can just copy and paste that kind of take some of the tech out of this for you it's basic html it's not complicated but you know for somebody that doesn't know it is complicated so for contact for this one all it does is that when you when you do your form and the person's in there they fill out the form contact set form seven they have the form that the person sees and then once they fill it out it knows hey i got this mail to thing also set up i need to send out this automatic email back to this person and it's lightning fast too it's it's not there's no delay so like as soon as the person hits submit they have an email in their inbox which i have to say is a lot faster i have heard horror stories about things like mailchimp where like it just takes hours or even days for them to get the email autoresponder and by that time you've lost the person you want this person to have immediate satisfaction with your product right so making them wait forever is not a good idea so that's what we're working with um those are the two different ways you can do it i'm going to include below about the contact form 7 and wordpress way to do it because most people i mean 25 percent of the internet has wordpress site so i'm going to do that one first but I will also do the cPanel one later. If you want to see the cPanel one, please comment below. And if this is the future and you're watching this video in the future, I, if I see that comment, I'll try to link you over to the content one. And if hopefully if I remember, I'll put it in the description too, if for the uh, cPanel version. So with that, let's get started. All right, so now we're gonna get into actually, what do you do with this stuff once you get, like how do you set up the autoresponder? If you've ever worked with contact, I think it's contact form seven. If you've ever worked with it, you know that it's super easy to get started. Um, you click add new, screen comes up, you fill in the stuff, you fill in the information right here and you hit save. And then it gives you a, a code here. I'll just go ahead and save this and you can see what I mean. It'll give you a code, you copy the code. You paste it on your blog post or your or your web page or whatever it is you want to do you or maybe on your contact page you put it there and then it just magically shows up once you save it and it works every single time it's awesome it used to be like you had to have Perl scripts and all kinds of stuff to, to get email stuff to function right so this is great you know it's awesome um, but let's get into actually how you set up the autoresponder. So what you do is once you've got this the way you need it to be, you go to mail and then this is the email that is sent to you. So that person fills out the form and then they send it to you, right? Well, you want the one that goes to them. So what you do is you scroll on down here to use mail to, and then down here you will fill out, well, this is all pretty much pre-filled, so it's from me you creation depot right and then the subject you usually want to change this to something more specific like the name of the file that you're sending them you know not like something something dot pdf but you know 10 ways to improve your website in four days or something like that you know like the title of the pdf that they're expecting is what you want to put there so that they immediately recognize it right they may not remember who you are but they remember what they signed up for and then down in message body you want to take out the word message body because that will show up <laughs> and then you want to take out your message and basically just delete this whole thing now what i did is in the video description below i put a link to um where you can sign up and get the sample autoresponder html this right here if you just copy this you know change out the information to what it needs to be you know like so it don't just leave it with these keywords in here but change this out to where you need to be so copy it paste it into word it should still work if you put it in Word. I don't think it's going to add stuff. Um, but if it does, open up Notepad or Simple Text or if you're on Mac, you know, just something that's not going to mess with it. And then change out all your stuff, copy it, and then come back over here and paste it in, right? That's not the right one. There you go. So you would paste this information in here, and this will give you kind of like the, the graphical, like this is the way it looks. Um, HTML. And basically all it is, is it's the headline right here in the biggest headline that Outlook will let you do. And then it will say, um, uh, please click here for the link below to get a copy. And then off to the right, there's going to be an image in the image. I really should have done a mock-up for this. <laughs> On the right, there should be a, um, an image that is usually of the, the PDF cover. 
and then below that it will say click here to download the copy in big letters right just it's just a link that's all it is big letters with a link make it again super easy right and then you put the message here the message here is usually you know this is what the download is for this is what it's supposed to help you with and then your contact information so let's pretend we did all that and that's in here then you would just hit save and again you would copy this and put it where you need to be and so now when somebody um, I mean you signed up for this if you go through and got my sample code you'll get the sample code because you used a contact form on my website and filled it out and that gave you the link to the autoresponder right so that's awesome um, if you have any questions if you get stuck if there's something weird or something doesn't work right I tried to be super specific in this like I even went on down here where I showed you how you can upload your PDFs and your images to because you have to put links in here right like the link to your Dropbox file the link to your image you have to put actual website links into these spots so an easy way to get that I kind of walked you through how to upload your images and where to get that link and then that link is what you put in the spot right so I try to be super clear about how to do it but if you get lost just send me a, a Twitter um, or tweet on Twitter and I'll try to help you out the best I can or send me an email through uh, the website because that's the best way to do it um, I don't advertise my email address straight up I send everybody to the contact form because I don't want to be spammed to death <laughs> I don't need a, uh, a robot picking up my email address and then making it unusable which has happened to me before so um, that is why I'll tell you what it is it's Wendy literal two T's at creationdepot.com. Um, it used to be Wendy at cre or creationdepot.com and then it just, everything got hacked <laughs> from Home Depot to Blue, Better Philosophy Shield, um, Blue Cross Blue Shield, just it all went downhill. So, uh, so that's that. And then over here, all you do is save and you know, just dump the, the content of the shirt code onto the, where you need it to be. And that's it. Um, can't think of anything else you might need right off but if you run into something let me know and I'm not opposed to remaking this video if I have to so that's it if you have any questions let me know um, that's it all right have a good one bye